Hello, folks, and welcome back to you, Yakuza, like a dragon. We're supposed to be going hunting for treasure, I guess. It's kind of one way to put it. Um, okay, hold on. There's something over here. What is that icon? So we're kind of a little bit more free to do what we want. Is this a dude here? We can talk to this guy, I guess. Sure, why not? I'll talk to you. Hello. Let me into your party. I'll, I'll finagle your income taxes down to half. That seems unlikely. There's a box. Oh, there's a box inside there. So can we actually get... Oh, I don't want to go behind the guy here. Uh, there's got to be a way in in there. Maybe like around here. Oh, here we go. Okay, so we can get our health and stuff back in there. We don't need that yet. And here's the box. Um, can't but notice there's nothing here. Oh, okay, this is the stuff we used to have. Okay, so... Can I just move all of them? I want to just move everything at once. Can we just do that? I don't know if we need the hand grenade. Tempered safety glass. It's materials. Give me the stretch shirt, because that's something. That's accessories. HP increases by 20, or MP increases by 10. Let's go and get more MP. We can only have, like, one accessory. I'd rather have the MP. I suppose we do need some of this, huh? So just move all this over. Okay. I'm going to say we don't need this just yet. Revise the Fallen Alloy with HP. Okay, so we definitely don't need that yet. Hand grenade's interesting. We're going to go and just leave that there, though. Okay, so that's the item box you were talking about before. Okay, let's go do the job we're supposed to be doing. Let's see about these uh, various treasure chest things. Yeah, this one here. Okay, treasure hunt. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Okay. Can't expect one in every single one, so that's fine. And around here on this one. Okay, 50 yen. Something. And then last one over here. And 5 yen. So not terrible much, but, you know, it's a start. We going somewhere else, or... Okay. We're gonna go share a loot. How'd it go? I tried, but this was all I found. Hey, Chief. This is the guy I was telling you about. And? What do you want, boy? My name's Ichiban. My situation's kind of... I'm sure it's fascinating. Main point is, you were shot, right? Right. So what do you say? Mind if I stay here while I'm recovering? I'm not just a survivor. I'm willing to earn, too. You earn that money yourself. Don't let anyone take it from you. Uh, if you're refusing to take it, does that mean I can't stay? Mm, I never wanted it. I just want you to realize it's not money we truly value here. Yes, I do. If a newcomer works hard and makes honest money, that shows us he won't disrupt our home. Thank you. I swear to you, I will pay back this debt. Debt? Sounding awfully Yakuza there. That's what I was until recently, actually. Well, not that recently. I guess it wasn't all that yeah. recent. 18 years ago. What's your story? You have the entire night, because that's about how long it's going to take to go through every detail here. I guess short version was you, because uh, no, 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 not. Mm. Your patriarch shot someone who served 18 years in prison for him. That's an interesting tactic. One way to put it. Must have felt horrible. Don't know if that's what I'd say. It's hard to describe how I feel. Here. 
Oh, that's nice of him. Should definitely eat that. Thanks. Try tearing off the tail and putting it in your drink. Really? Sure. So fish tea? Fish beer? <clears throat> That's good. It's Ijin Show style fin sake. So, once you're healed, you're free to leave or stay. Your choice. Thanks. We'll see what happens. What are your plans tomorrow? You need to scrounge up some food for yourself. Uh, that's for sure. I'll show you how. Let's head out at 5.30 a.m. and get you started with cans. Cans? You mean like recycling them? Pretty damn early to be doing that. Early bums get the crumbs. You oversleep, I'll ditch your ass. <laughs> okay, I get it. I get it. I'll be there. And that seems more reliable than going to vending machines looking for spare change. Also, kind of weird that we're doing this when, you know, we can beat up people. Ugh, I'm beat. Yeah, plenty of sleep while you're recovered. Take this seriously. All right. What's up? Hey, we're here, Kansan. Who's this guy? Huh? Ampa, this guy a newcomer? Yeah, name's Kasuga. Yes. Hello. Here you go, just like you asked. Okay, that's a pretty good setup. Can do attitude. What, what is this? A bike you custom made for can collection. Cans don't sell for much. You've got to find a whole bunch to make it even worthwhile. Wow. Gotcha. Well, I'm going to start collecting. Uh, sure. Okay, so we need to, like, go around and hunt some stuff. Been a while since I rode one of these. Well, this is no ordinary bike. It's custom made for recycling. Three wheel, too, so you won't fall over. If you haven't ridden in a while, why not take her out for a quick spin? Okay, so R2. You can even pedal backwards to reverse. I find that pretty convenient. Okay, pedal backwards. Ah, okay. Gotcha. Nope, she's all yours. Go take a lap around. See what you can scrounge up. You find a lot of empty cans along the river. My advice: stick to pedaling in a straight line, and you can't go wrong. All right, I'll give it a shot. Okay, so you're doing like Pac-Man here? Uh, here we go. Yep, this is Pac-Man. Not sure how that actually works, but. Apparently just gets tossed right into the the thing here, so sure. Huh? The heck is that? <clears throat> Need a boost? Grab an energy drink. Energy drinks power you up. Press triangle will power it up to boost, giving you a short burst of speed. I'm not sure we want the speed, but okay. Let's go. Oh, we have to boost. Yeah, try not to crash. Okay, well, it's funny this is the way he kind of envisions this, but... What's up with those guys? And zoomed right by. They're after the cans, too? You're not the only one questing for cans. Should your rivals ram into you, you'll lose your cans to them. But you can also see your rivals kind of ramming into them during a boost. Okay. Guess I got me some competition. Good. Makes for a healthy challenge. 
Well, I did my lap and brought in a decent haul. I'll head back to Kansan. Uh, where the hell he is? I think I have to go around this way. Yeah, here we go. So, get used to it yet? Uh, I think so. A lot of other guys were out there doing the same thing. Yeah, I bet they were. The homeless here in town are always on the prowl for anything salvageable. <laughs> Gotta bust your butt to earn your bread. Sheesh. Even among the homeless, it's survival of the fittest. My advice? Someone comes chasing after you, scram. Otherwise, you ram into them as hard as you can and take what they got first. So I gotta take the initiative. I'm good at that. Gloves are off from this point. Collect as many cans as possible and come back here within the time limit. Consider your reward gone if you're even a second late. <laughs> I ain't one to waste time. So I gotta be back at this parking structure before time's up. Got it. More cans means a better haul, but what's the point of hoarding if it all goes to waste? Wouldn't want that. Anyway, let's see what you got. Okay, collection of cans for your quota or more return to the starting point of the time. I mean, the stack that are showing there looks damn impressive. All right, the boost. Not the only one requesting. Chase down the coveted pile of cans. Use the map as a guide to seek your claim for your rivals. Wish them global and issue a clear bonus. However, you should try to collect as many cans as possible before then. If you don't go too fast and bump into a wall or a drum, it'd be real shame. Okay, so if you bump into a wall, you'd lose your cans. Collecting to a garbage collector will cause you to lose a ton of cans. Garbage collector's route changes with the difficulty setting, so use the map to find a safe route possible. Occasionally, you find a girl taking out trash. Cans will consist of the drop from her trash bag to seize the opportunity to keep on her tail. Okay, so time remaining, energy drinks, cans collected versus the quota, quota reach indicator, and trash duty, or trash duty girl indicator, okay. Okay. So we have about two minutes here, it looks like. I mean, this is basically Pac-Man. Time for a can quest. Grab that. There we go. As long as we're close, we should be fine. Okay, we got somebody in red coming over. I think we ditch. Oh, we tried to... Oh, the freaking jerk. He bashed me. Okay, you know what? We have a boost. We can bash him instead. There. That worked. Okay, I lost a couple of cans, but it's no big deal. No big deal. Can we get a pile? Should be a pile over here. If there is, I can't see. It's got to be underneath somewhere. I don't know where the pile is. I don't have a boost. Okay, there's a pile over. No, the pile just got grabbed. I don't have my quota anymore. It's a guy bashed into me. How's that? Piles get moved. Okay. Yep, there she goes. Okay. I can't bash this guy, so we've got to try to dodge. Or I just go around him. That works. That works. Another pile over here. Okay, we should probably go ahead and turn in. No reason to be greedy, right? They will loop here. We got 30 whole seconds. I don't have another boost here, though, so I think we gotta just go. Let's take the safe route. Time to get paid. There is a boost here. I'll grab this just in case, but I don't think we need it. We just go. We're fine. We get a B ring. I'm okay with that. At least he's happy. A new record? Yes, I can. Streets look cleaner already.
Okay, so we need a lot to get to the next rank. Ah, well done. Time to get you set up with some eco points then. Eco points? Yeah, what you get for turning in cans. Brilliant idea, if you ask me. You can exchange these eco points for cash, food, or whatever kind of junk you want. That's quite a system we've got there. Well, fiat currency is complicated things. You gotta factor in tax rates, supply and demand, all kinds of nonsense. And for what? For people like us, a point system works best. We like regular money, but without the greedy middleman. Huh. To be honest, I prefer regular money. Hey now, you collected quite a bit. You're pretty good for a beginner. Okay, after taking out my lecture fee, <laughs> here's what's left. Gotta have the lecture fee. And it's a start. Yep, it's a start. Jeez. What a life. Oh, before I forget, better off swapping your eco points for commodities rather than money. It goes farther that way. Got it. Anyway, this lovely little parking structure here is the place I call home. Whenever you feel like collecting cans or exchanging eco points, come find me and I'll lend you my bike. Will do, Consock. I guess I'll see you later. Let it go. I work my ass off. But my take is pathetic. That's homeless life for you. But I know you tried, so I'll give you some food. Just for today, though. You sure? <laughs> Can't have you collapsing from hunger. Yeah, I'll never leave then. The bakery got rid of their extra bread today, so I went and got some. Beggars can't be choosers. Hey, that actually looks pretty good. I must be hungry. Bread rolls, huh? Hey, I just said we can't be choosy. Whoa, I ain't complaining. I love bread rolls, actually. Yeah? Hell yeah. In prison, all we had was barley rice. Every single day. But once a week, they gave us bread rolls. That was the day I looked forward to. Really? It's just plain ass bread. Hey, beggars can't be choosers, you just said. That plain is what makes it good. See, nothing's plain about prison. Everything's shit. The smell, the walls, and especially that nasty rice mush. But the taste of plain bread, that was the taste of the outside world. Well, here. Take a nice big bite of the outside world. <laughs> One way Thanks, to put it. man. <clears throat> oh. <gasps> yeah, that's that's too fast. Suck. God. Need time to enjoy it. I gotta say, you're an interesting guy. Shit, the collectors are here! Earlier than usual. Uh, nice kind of collectors, or Time no? to pay no. your dues for the month, fellas. Wait by your beds with your cash out and ready. Who's this fool? Zhang, a money collector. He charges us homeless guys for the privilege of sleeping here. What? Well, you gotta pay him. Is this his land or something? No. But it's been the rule since before I was here. You don't gotta pay a guy like that. Tell him to fuck off. Good luck with that. Trust to beat him. Me. I want to punch the guy in the face every time I see him. But the chief says we gotta pay. He does? I've heard Zhang is a member of the Yokohama Liumang. What the hell's that? A Chinese mafia that's been based in Ijincho for ages. You don't want them as your enemy. You 
you'll end up dead. <laughs> Mafia, my ass. I'll get this guy out of your hair. Pay you back for helping me. No, no gods. Don't try anything. The chief already has a deal worked out with them. We need to do what the chief wants. But just stay quiet. Shit. Do you even have enough money to pay him? Two thousand yen? No, nope. not even close. Damn it. And I only have enough to cover myself. Look, you better hide in there. And I'll think up an excuse. Whatever happens, don't move. Hide in this tiny box. <sighs> Fine. Kind of like Metal Gear, except not really. As long as we don't move, we should be fine. Hello, Nambachan. How's business? Good? Is it ever good when you're homeless? No, oh, no. You'll never make it back to proper society with that attitude. Besides, you got a sweet deal going on. Sleeping and drinking all day must be nice. If that's all it was. You're right. Sorry. Just don't get out, Ichi. You're fine. You're fine in the tiny little box. <laughs> Number. Does this box belong to you? Yeah, I needed to pick up a few things. <laughs> what kind of things? Hey, let's have a look. Oh, hold on. Can't a guy have a little privacy? You live on the street. People like you don't get to have privacy. Well, crap. <laughs> Stop. Don't open it. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> well, Namba-san, you tried to play nice, but you know what? Fuck these guys. Oh, this isn't gonna go well. Who the hell are you? The fine people here have been taking care of me since yesterday. I see. Does that mean you live in one of these fucking tents here? If so, we'll be taking your rent up front, cash only. Sucks for you, I'm broke. And if I weren't, I wouldn't even give you my pocket change. <laughs> wow, number. Not only did you bring in some cocky asshole. Oh God, here we go. But then you tried to keep him as your little secret from us. I'm gonna make sure you pay for that one later. Hey, Namba-san saved my life. Get your hands off him! Ah, look who thinks he's a tough guy. Every now and then we get a newcomer like you doesn't know his place. You guys bark loud, but you never got the bite to back it up. You go down whimpering like bitches every time. I mean, unless you're level 12, buddy, this is Put not gonna go the way you expect. Fists. Let's see if you're any different from the rest of this trash. Don't try to stop me, Nama son. Stop you. <laughs> he wants in on it. Hmm. At this point, he's gonna kill us both and dump us in the river. But before that, I'm gonna stick this up his ass. <laughs> ah, Namba. This dumbass give you big ideas? I'll break so many of your bones you won't be able to beg anymore. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. Let's do this indeed. Yeah, unless he's level 12, this shouldn't, shouldn't be too bad. Okay, here we go. Level 8. Okay, a little rough. A little rough. Still doable, though. Let's knock this guy out first. Okay, a little tough and rumble, but that's okay. What skills do you got? Pigeon Raid? I like it. Let's try Pigeon Raid on this guy. That was great. More of that. Okay, good guard, good guard. Yeah, he's pretty strong. Take him while he's down. 
Nice. Okay, it didn't hurt him too much, though. Uh, I couldn't block it in time. Okay, so let's try Rock Swing. Go ahead and hit him while he's down. That helps. Recover some MP. Okay, got a guard up. I don't know if while he's down still works. Okay, it didn't actually. Okay, decent. Oh, he's really hurt. Let's see if we can do some skills up just to see if we can take him down faster. Almost, but not quite. No, I couldn't get him down. Okay, we can, we can take him out the rest of the way. There we go. Yeah, he didn't have very much health. But he's alive. Okay, we leveled up. Great. Our friend did not, though. You fucker. You know I'm in the Yokohama Leomang. You know, I was doing some calculations back there. 2,000 yen from each bum gets you about 100k. My math's not great, but you talk pretty big for a guy collecting chump change. You want to die, asshole? That's what you're asking for. I'd give you one chance to apologize to me. Sounds like the empty threat of a loser. <laughs> Last chance. Apologize now if you want to live. Did you hear? I ain't apologizing for shit. You're gonna regret this. Your bark is worse than your bite. Tell me, why would I regret it? You gonna sick your big, tough Liu Mong boys on me? <laughs> Do they even have any of those? Fuck you! We're the strongest Chinese mafia in Yokohama. So it's a low bar, Trust what you're saying. Your buddies are shitting themselves. They know what's coming. Okay, so I take it all the big boys you'll be sending in to put us in our place are better fighters than you? You fucking! No, seriously. When should we expect them? When are you going to tell them you got beat up by hobos scrounging for pocket change? How are they going to take that? Oh, our boy Zhang got his ass kicked. And then what? They're going to rally the fucking troops for you? Your uh, officers maybe? can't be that bored. You'll just send up the shame of the Liu Lame. Do you ever shut the fuck up? No, it's one of his strong points. That's just how these things go. A gangster like you should know that. Officers don't just go out and save their minions from every little street fight. Shit. Namba, I'll deal with your pansy ass later. After I take care of your new meat shield here. Uh, Beefgate, I Shut think is what it wants to be called. This isn't even Liu Mang turf. Oh, seriously? <laughs> so you have even less leverage than I thought, Zheng Chan. Oh, yeah? I don't know a lot about Yokohama, but I'm sure the gangs here are real strict. If you're waltzing across the border to shake us down, isn't that a turf violation? <laughs> so not only did you get whipped by bums, you were trespassing. Honestly, man, I wouldn't even report this one if I were you. Unless you want to make your whole gang a joke. <laughs> oh, even Chief laughed at that one. Oh, crap. Can we laughed out of this? You're a fucking shithead. It's hard being the bottom rung of the ladder, isn't it? I can relate to that, actually. Difference is, I learned not to bully people who are weaker than me. Shut up! I'm letting you off easy today. Let's go. Hey, bring us something to eat next time, would you? <laughs> Let's see how Chief talks about this. He's going to be okay with it. That was way out of line. It's a little out of line, I'll admit. But it was funny. No, we don't have to be scared of that asshole anymore. He's going to kick us both out, isn't he? <laughs> you might? pull something like that again. I'm tossing you out on the street. Okay, he's given a second chance. Our something. priority is to have somewhere to sleep tomorrow. Don't you dare put that at risk again. 
He's not wrong, but he's also... He's not really that mad at you. Yeah. Ah, I should apologize. He's right. I was out of line. No. You did what was right. And hey, I got to vent some bottled up anger of my own. I'm sure most of the guys here would agree with me. We should be thanking you. No, oh, you don't have to thank me. I gotta say, you're a professional at pissing people off. That's what he does um, best. Um, that's not exactly a skill I want to have. Maybe not. But then again, maybe being a pain in the ass is just part of your charm, you know? Huh. Well, I never thought about it like that before. So, hey, I guess the Chinese Mafia is some big deal in Yokohama, huh? Not just the Chinese. The city is sliced up among the Ejin Three. The Ejin Three? Sounds kind of made up, but sure. The girl in the red shoes left with foreigners on a steamship from Yokohama. I'm betting it sounds better than the original Japanese. Or the original Chinese, I guess, depending on how that goes. So here we go. The Zheng guy was from the Chinese Mafia, known as the Yokohama Yumon. It's over here is the Korean Mafia. They go by the same name as the area they occupy, the Gomijo. And of course, there's the Japanese Yakuza. They're called the Seiryu Clan. But to the locals, they're all known as the Ejin Three. I'm guessing the Seiryu clan is under the umbrella of the Omi Alliance. You kidding? No, they've always been independent, and they're happy to let you know it. Are the Omi in Ijinsho? Yeah, the Tojo clan is practically Yokohama's next door neighbor. And if they've never set foot in here, you think the Omi Alliance would try? The Ijin three offer the town protection from outside forces, in a way. That metaphorical barrier is known as the Great Wall of Muscle. Hell of a metaphor. So, the Ejin Three work together to keep people from getting over this wall? Work together? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> if only. They're always at each other's throats. We don't want to walk in the middle of a battle, so I guess that's kind of like protection. Doesn't that mean a war could break out at any moment? Yeah. Guess you could call this a Cold War. What's that? Did you skip that day in history class or something? Okay, Cold War is like a powder keg. Any teensy bit of friction can trigger a huge explosion. Oh, okay. I mean, would you want to stick your hand into a powder keg and risk setting it off? Hell no. Exactly. So, as long as this Cold War is going on, no one can stick their hand into Yokohama. I get it. There's so much tension, everyone's scared to make a move. But it's amazing that there's never been a war on the inside then, isn't it? <sighs> yeah, I try not to think about that. They can all be pretty vicious. This city would turn into a goddamn crater if that happened. Maybe there's a reason it hasn't. A secret reason. You ever think of that possibility? Like, what if the Ejin Three leaders are pretending there's a Cold War so they can sit back and relax? <laughs> Not a chance. Each gang leader is desperate to be the strongest. Everyone knows that. Whatever the opposite of relaxing is, that's what they're doing. They're gathering strength. Which is know. just adding more powder to the keg. Ichi might be right. Scary, isn't it? But for the Yokohama underworld, that's just the way things are. Why are you telling me all this? So that I'll be more careful? More or less. You've already been pretty damn lucky, in my opinion. Lucky? Me? Yeah, yeah. I know your traitor patriarch shot you and all. That was unlucky, sure. But then someone brought you here to Yokohama. The one place in all of Kanto where there's no Omi at the moment. The place where they can't even get in. You're safe from them. I guess. I don't know how long I can just hang around in Eugene show, though. I'll go on and leave. I won't stop you. Yeah, I think I will. See if I'm lucky out there, too. Ow! Oh, <laughs> what the hell was that for? Prune a point. 
You won't get far with that still healing. You'll be dead in a ditch. I could have done without the demonstration. I don't know. You're kind of the type that needs a demonstration there, Richie. Oh, hey, is that money? It's totally money. Is that a 10,000 yen bill? What's that? Shit. Hide it, Ichiban. Why? Uh, did you see that? That was a 10,000 yen bill! Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, hey! Uh, Calm down. Hey, hey, look! I think I dropped a 10,000 yen bill around here just the other day! Yeah, sure you did. your ass. It's Ichiban's money. What? Actually, I have no idea how I got this. Ha! Told you it was mine! Hey, <laughs> give it back. Uh, <laughs> oh, you teach it, Sean, my old friend. I thought I'd never see your face again. <laughs> Let me just clean you off a bit. Aren't you beautiful? Huh? What the hell? Is he wrong? coming off to you? Is it oh, fake? Look at this. Ha! <laughs> It's fake. The back of it is blank. I think it's just stupid play money. Wait, hold on. <sighs> hmm. well, that's definitely not play money. The front looks way too much like a real bill. I mean, look. It even has a watermark. For real? They wouldn't put watermarks on play money, would they? So you're saying it's real, even though it's half blank? Hey, does that mean it's worth 5,000? No, oh, <laughs> dumbass. It means there's only one thing it could be. It's counterfeit. Yep. Oh, what? It's a fake? Hey, you trying to get us all arrested or something? No, that shit's not even mine. You said you just dropped it the other day. What's with that? Do I look like someone who would have that much? I would have spent it already, man. Come on. Obviously. Now cut it out, you two. But it's yours, right? Why did you have it? Why would you bring that shady shit here? We don't want any trouble. Come on, man. This guy's bad news for the whole camp. We can't let him stay here. I say we kick him out. I told you, I don't know where it came from. I don't even know where I'd get a fake bill. Liar! How did it end up in your pocket then? Wait, wait. Let's think about this for a second. Ichiban's pocket where he had the bill has a huge bullet hole in it. So if the bill was in his pocket at the time he got shot, doesn't that mean it should have a hole in it too? Yeah. But look, it doesn't. Got his blood though. And there's no way Ichiban could have put it in his pocket after he got shot. He was barely even conscious. That could only mean someone must have put it there after he fainted. Who would do that? And why? Don't look at me. I have no freaking idea. It was probably whoever brought him here. You got an idea who did that? Probably not, huh? Nope. It's as much a mystery to me as it is to you guys. I don't know why I got dumped here, and I don't know why I have this bill. Seriously, I don't know a goddamn thing. You've got to believe me. Who cares? Look, we're already on thin ice here, and none of us want to give the police an excuse <laughs> to raid us. So let's just get rid of that thing, throw it away, and stop causing trouble. You two are the ones making a scene. How about I bring this to the chief? Uh, not Basan. Don't do us like that. Look, I get it, okay? I'll make you a deal. You take it easy. I won't start any more trouble. We good? Oh man, almost chance to be kind of, sort of, maybe passively rich. I don't know, 10,000 yen is like enough for like three here. meals. But I thought you had nowhere else to go. I don't. But anywhere would be better than here. What? I walked around all damn day, and what good did that do? I mean, there's got to be tons of jobs out there which pay more than this. There's just gotta be. Yeah, probably. Well, if you think so too, then let's go find one of those. Oh, sure. Got any leads? 
Know anybody who can give us a reference? How about a resume? Oh, hey, I know. We could find something at Hello Work. Man, easier said than done. Listen up, everyone! Hey, what are you doing? Guys, guys! Why are we living like this? Has anybody here ever gone to Hello Work? I mean, yeah, probably. Eh? Sounds like a big fat no! But you're all perfectly healthy! I've seen some of you build shit! I've seen some of you cook! You have skills! So why aren't you trying to find jobs? Just gotta get up and do it! Come on! You really want to keep living like this just to avoid taking some risks? Don't you see you can change if you want to? Or do you all just want to die here? Well, I don't. I say we go and find some decent jobs. Anyone who whines about it, I don't mind dragging you. Shut the fuck up. Do you seriously think we're all here because we want to be? Nah, you said everyone has their reasons, and I get that, man. But come on, you still gotta try, don't you? Better than living like this. A little effort can land you a job, even if you have a criminal record. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. Why not? First of all, only a few of us have criminal records. Most of us didn't do anything wrong. Then why? For some, all they did was co-sign a bad loan. Others worked hard for their families, who abandoned them when they couldn't pay the bills. Nobody lives like this by choice. This isn't somewhere you choose to be, it's somewhere you end up. Do you know what that's like? To end up that broken? <sighs> And some of us have families who are out there looking for us. Parents and kids, hoping we'll come back. And for as much as some of us would love to go back, we can't. Not when we're still so broken. And you think you can fix all that with just a quick trip to hello work? They get back on the grid, then all the problems and enemies from their old lives are gonna pop right back up. Did you ever think of that? You think we're just too lazy to work? We all want a job and a living man. But we can't just erase all the things that keep us from having them. So it might not look like much to you, but they're trying! I'm... I'm sorry. You can't force people to be just like you. So knock it off. But I'll give you this. You're not totally wrong. What? It's hard to be 100% wrong. You made a good point about having a criminal record. <laughs> We do have one felon here lying low. Uh, who? Me. But you said you used to be a nurse. What did you do? <sighs> it doesn't matter. But maybe I found some motivation in that stupid little speech of yours. <laughs> Enough to try anyway. So, I'll come with you to hello work. I'll see what it's like to take at least the first step out of the gutter. Okay. I like the music. That's pretty good. Okay, tag team essence of mayhem. I like the idea. I don't know what that is, but it sounds cool. Okay, so it looks like we actually got... It's funny we still have our smartphone around. Okay, battle tips. Namba's life in the street is strengthening his body against poison and catching a cold. Well, good for him. Okay. There's something green over here. I want to see what this is. Oh, it's the health thing. Um, well, since he, Namba has one health, we should probably go ahead and do this. There we go. Namba's healed. Huzzah. Okay. Party chat. Your party members will want to chat sometimes. You can let them by pressing triangle when prompted. Let's until the end and the party's bond will grow stronger. But if you interrupt these conversations by opening menus or triggering a battle... Not only will it force everyone to stop talking, but it's also just plain rude. Luckily, should something like this happen, you can always go back to the spot where the chat began, give it another shot. Okay, so there's a taxi. I don't think we really have much money for a taxi, but... Yeah, okay, so that was party chat. Gosuga will befriend many allies throughout his adventure, and it's up, to, up to three of them can join him around tower in battle. Gosuga cannot be removed as a party leader. May choose who will accompany him by accessing party from the pause menu. Okay. Various part taxis will allow you to travel around the city at warp speed. You can do this via the pause menu. Beware, however, the rides aren't free and convenience comes at a price. Oh, can I put on the shirt? Actually, maybe not me. 
Maybe not Kiss again. Maybe you do that for Namba? Yeah, we don't have a shirt for you. That's okay. We do have the shirt for you. It's at least something. And seeing as how he got hurt more last time, it might be better if he had it. Weight of the way, dragon. You've got a pretty crazy tattoo on your back, right? Is it a dragon? No, not a dragon. It's a dragon fish. A dragon fish? Yeah, but to be honest, I wanted a real dragon. Wait, then why didn't you get one? In the Yakuza business, a dragon symbolizes the top of the food chain. A fresh-faced fool like me can't just casually rock a dragon. Wow, that's for real? Well, I guess a dragonfish is pretty cool, too. It is. Right? I'm into it. Someday, I want to earn my place. And then my dragonfish is going to shine even brighter than a dragon. <laughs> Dreaming big, huh? In that case, maybe I ought to start by finding a job. Yeah. Sorry, little dragonfish. <laughs> okay, so there's a... Okay, there's a bunch of marks around for... We don't want to go that way, though. We want to go this way. So theoretically, we should be able to find, like, trash and treasure and all that good stuff around here. So, of course, we actually find any vending machines. We should be able... Yeah, like this vending machine. Shouldn't there be, like, treasure here? Yeah, here we go. Treasure hunt, maybe. Eh, 10 yen. I'll take it. At this point, every little bit helps. It seems like, you know, later on, we're not even going to bother, but for right now, might as well. Oh, right here. Treasure hunt. Okay. I'm going to have eaten bento box. At least, theoretically, it's still in the box. So, maybe? I mean, bento's really just means lunch, right? I've eaten lunch. I guess we can go over here. This looks like a trash can. No, it's an oil drum. That's weird. So we have to get pretty close in order for the treasure thing to show up. We can't just walk down the middle of the street if you want to look at stuff. You've got to actually, like, go near it. Which I suppose makes sense. Looking for any more things that might be likely to have treasure in them? Maybe nothing. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and do this, then. If the 10 extra yen's really not going to do it. I think if she's probably right, you probably do want the... Oh, actually. Let me go beat these guys up. That'll give us some cash. And that's the way we most, made most of our cash before. Let's do this. Let's beat these guys up. Ooh, level 7. Okay, so these guys are a little rough. Hungry, Homeless, and Battle Bomb. Damage is single enemy. I right, see so your Tenacious Fist. And he's out. Okay, that was pretty good. And he's young. That was easy. Oh, but they were bums and they had 10 yen. No, that makes sense. That makes sense. But at least he ranked up, so that was something. But no, it makes sense it wouldn't actually do much. But these guys look like they might have something on them. Yeah, bully and capitalist punisher. Okay, this we can do. That was pretty good, even though it says weak. That was pretty good. Okay, just regular attack, I think. Okay. I was gonna call backup, but nobody responded. Go ahead and beat him up a little bit. There you go. Now he should have more cash, right? Oh, only 10 yen? Come on, at least we got the Yonaguri, which is good, but... Yeah, I think they're trying to keep us poor. All right, let's, let's go do the job thing. Oh, I mean, let's go ahead and beat these guys out, because what the hell, we always need the experience. Okay. Um, okay, sure. Go around the corner here and beat him up. Oh, that was really good, though. Oh, wow. Regular attacks just totally took that guy out. Yeah, they, they definitely want to keep us four. Okay, so beating these guys up is not going to do it. 
All right, well, we'll go in there next time. For right now, thank you for watching. This has been Yakuza Like a Dragon. I'm Peace Universe here at Peace Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.